Am I the asshole for kicking my son out of my house after he cancelled my job interview? Please hear me out first. I'm a single mom, 45, of a 20-year-old son, Chris. Chris is in college. He studies engineering. Being a single mom at a young age was not easy for me. Despite everything I've been through. Despite my own family giving up on me. I made sure my son got the life he deserves. He was, is my everything. I worked several jobs that were different from each other's. I was able to own a home after years of renting. And more importantly I was able to provide Chris with an opportunity for education. Recently, Chris moved back in with me because he no longer could pay rent. His next semester is starting soon. And he's been talking to me about the possibility of selling my house and buying a house in the city where he studies so he will no longer pay rent and said that it was better to move. I declined for several reasons. One grew up here. My old friends live here. Two the city is expensive. Three this home means a lot it represents my hard work and sacrifices. Chris didn't like that. He threw a fit and kept brining it up trying to convince me to do it. Last week he kept pressuring me. I told him that I found a potential job at a company and it was an opportunity because I've been looking for three months. He took as in I don't want to move because of my new job. But it's not true. Yesterday, I found out that he contacted the company and cancelled my interview and then deleted my email. I use a computer and it's in the office so he gets access to it. He told me he wanted to check his college website for some reason and I thought nothing of it. That was the night before. I found out yesterday morning that someone cancelled my interview. I confronted Chris about it. First he denied then he said that the company wasn't what I deserved anyway and I can find a better position when we move to the city. I was so mad at him for ruining this for me and pressuring me to move leaving me no choice. I felt as if he was trying to sell the house from under me after he said he found a potential buyer and just wanted to make things go smoothly and all I have to say is yes. I yelled at him and argued with him telling him that he was an adult and should manage his own issues. Told him to get a job but not expect me to turn my life upside down for him. He yelled back saying I was selfish and I ended up kicking him out of the house. His aunt knew and was yelling at me for what I did saying I was treating him poorly and he was hurt by me. Just to clarify his aunt is my sister. She doesn't have children of her own. And Chris considers her as a second mother to him. She's always defending him no matter the reason. He hasn't left town yet and she wants me to call him. In need to mention that this is not how he is normally I have no idea what's going on but he was constantly talking about it and was insisting so much it got me upset and worried honestly. Not the asshole. If you ever accept in your home again, charge him rent. He's being extremely ungrateful and entitled. It is none of his aunt's business and your son needed the reality check. Not the asshole. If auntie thinks you're being cruel she can take him in and see what happens. Not the asshole and honestly that's controlling and abusive behavior on your son's part. He is crossing boundaries and trying to make decisions for you, a grown woman. His mother. He is a grown man that can move to the city when he is able to afford it and shouldn't be banking on you giving everything up so he can get what he wants. Not the asshole. You've done enough for him. He's a 20-year-old adult. Nothing justifies his cancelling your interview. That's a huge breach of privacy and trust. He should get a part-time job. If he comes back, ask him to start paying rent, utilities and grocery. Op could he be using? Or does he owe somebody money? This reminds me of addict behavior. You mentioned that he is normally not like this as he's suffering from any mental or medical issues possibly. And hash x200b. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. I guess he is used to you giving up everything for him but he is not a child now and he has no call on where do you want to live or work. You did right. Not the asshole sending good vibes so you hopefully can still interview. Not the asshole. Good riddance. That guy's antics are absolutely nuts. Dot. If his aunt has a problem, she can take him in. Block them both. I don't know how or why your kid turned out this badly, but at this point it's not your problem anymore. Best cut your losses. Not the asshole. Let the aunt take him in till tempers calm down, assuming she's not living with you also. TBH, in your place, I'd be worried about your son showing signs of mental illness. His entitled behavior is extreme even the most arrogant of little Oz. Not the asshole. Change the locks. He thought nothing of jeopardizing your ability to house and feed yourself. Let him learn what it really means to he responsible. Also, 
If you have been providing any financial support for college costs, it might be a good idea to rethink that until you've gotten an apology. I hope you're able to reschedule the interview. Not the asshole at all. You poor thing. This is just so horrible. As a job seeker I would be close to homicidal if someone cancelled my job interview. He is an entitled brat and his behavior is entirely unacceptable. Not the asshole. Your son sounds entitled. Also he cannot sell your house from under you. His name is not on the title so there's nothing he can do. You did the right thing by kicking him out. He can't respect your boundaries and household then he can leave. He's an adult and knows consequences of his actions. You treated him poorly. Dear God. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. He's a shitty son. Not the asshole. I'm so sorry, that's such an awful betrayal. He needs to learn to take care of himself. Congratulations. You have raised a big awe. He didn't like your answer of no so he manipulated the situation to get what he wanted. It's time for him to get his own place and pay his own dues if he can't accept what you've given him. Not the asshole. I'm sorry your son turned out to be a dud. You were not in the wrong to kick him out. He's an adult and he should manage his shit himself. Not the asshole your son sounds like a brat. I know he is your child, but he is an adult who should not be throwing tantrums like this. Not the asshole he's the selfish one he wants you to sell your house and move so he doesn't have to pay rent. Not the asshole. He sounds horrid. Not the asshole. What an entitled piece of work. Not the asshole and unfortunately, your son is an entitled jerk. Not the asshole. You have a life. You're not just the mother who needs to help him out, and he needs to get that. It is very selfish of him to expect you to throw everything away to make sure he's comfortable. Not the asshole wow. Your son is an entitled brat. You worked so hard to give him a good life, but now he's trying to take it from you. I couldn't even fathom getting in the middle of my mom and get work. Um so your son is too lazy to work and just demands you give up your life to be his maid. I'm 43 and female. We have a whole other life to live. We're the wise women now. And we do what we need. We do not baby men. Or anyone. We stand firm until they see why they are wrong. Not the asshole. But there has to be something massive back in the city he wants if he's just pretending your life doesn't matter. A debt, pregnancy or drugs. Don't sell your home, but do get your sister to find out why. Play the game so he vents to his aunt and you can work out what's going on. 100% not the asshole, your son has gone behind your back trying to manipulate your life in a very underhand way. I'm sure his aunt only knows his side of the story. I hope you find the job you want. Not the asshole, your son is spoiled and entitled. It is possible that he has misunderstood your support over the years to mean that he should always get what he wants, regardless of the damage he causes. Best wishes re-establishing yourself and keeping your home. Not the asshole. Your kid has a lot to learn. It's your house and you were kind to let him come back and live there. You've really done right by him to give him a good life and he sounds underhanded, narcissistic, and underappreciative in this situation. It's beyond crossing boundaries to try and sell your house and cancel a job interview. I'm sorry that happened to you. I hope they reschedule the interview. Not the asshole, sounds like the film Misery, you need to get your son out and get a R.O. Pronto, before you are suddenly, ill, till they find you locked in a room in 20 years. Not the asshole, to do anything else would enable him further. If that's how he chose to be, resourceful, he won't make it in the world without gaining independence now. Congrats to you on your version of resourcefulness and hopefully he takes a page from your book. Not the asshole at all. He deserved everything he got. Not the asshole. He should learn that not everything works around him. Not the asshole. Chris can live on the streets in my opinion. Sabotaging your life to enhance his own, I'd tell him to get a job for his college money too. NTA, I'd go no contact with the entitled prick. NTA. Not the asshole, have you called the school and cancelled his semester yet? Eye for an eye. Not the asshole. To even think you could be is almost laughable. Watch out before he tries to get you declared incompetent, because that's shady AF. Not the asshole, he is, a big one, a gigantic one. What is that kid so desperately hoping to escape? This is awful and so heartbreaking. Tell your sister to step out of your business. She is not his mother. You are. And your son is a massive asshole. I wihs you best of luck and hope your son comes to his senses soon.
Not the asshole. Let your sister take him in then. Not the asshole OMG that's horrible. Not the asshole. Change your locks. He can go live with his other, mommy, and sell her house. Not the asshole. He deserved to be tossed out. He's grown. He can figure out his own way in the world. Also, I would not let him come back anytime soon. He should apologize for sabotaging your job interview and demonstrate that he can be responsible and respectful towards you and can pay rent. OMG. Not the asshole. I'm significant other sorry this happened. After all you've been through and sacrificed for him, he turns around and does such an abhorrent underhanded thing. Let your sister take him in and sell her house and move to the city with him. He's an adult and not your responsibility anymore. Not the asshole. Change the locks. Not the asshole. But your son and sister sure are. He's a grown ass adult trying to sell your house out from under you and force you to move because he doesn't want to pay rent or act like an adult. Not the asshole as a mother, we want to give our children everything. We don't want them suffer or lack for anything. But this can lead to overcompensating and entitled narcissist behavior. He is used to you sacrificing everything for him as a child and now expects you to do it as an adult. Finding a buyer for your house and cancelling a job interview are telling signs, he is 20 years old, not a child. What he is doing is not okay. He now needs to learn as a 20 year old that no is no. You cannot continue to live your life solely for your son. Please don't make excuses for him. You had every right to kick him out. He now needs to put on his big boy pants and be an adult and realize what he did was wrong. Edit for spelling. Not the asshole. Let him go to his aunt, sounds like they deserve each other.